Today, we are going to take a ride on a very interesting type of railway. This is a cable-drawn railway system, and it goes up the side of a hill. Welcome to the Duquesne Incline. It's located near Pittsburgh's South Side neighborhood, and it scales Mount Washington. Once you enter the lower station, you can purchase a ticket. Adults $250, children $125, children under 5, and seniors are free. Once you've purchased your ticket, you get a great view of one of the incline cars making its way down towards the station. And once it finishes its journey and the passengers begin to disembark, it will soon be time for you yourself to board this magical journey up the hillside. And it looks like it's our turn, so let's go ahead and make our way into this historic red car that goes up the side of a mountain. The incline was completed in 1877, and it was designed by a Hungarian-American engineer. The incline rises 400 feet at a 30-degree angle, and it's kind of an unusual incline, if an incline isn't unusual enough these days, but it uses a track gauge that's standard only in Finland, Russia, and Mongolia. The incline was originally intended to carry cargo up and down Mount Washington and started life as a steam-powered system. It later carried passengers. Inclines would eventually be built all over Mount Washington. But as more and more roads were built in the 20th century and automobile use increased, most of the other inclines were closed, and by the end of the 1960s, only two inclines remained in operation. And then, in 1962, this incline was actually closed. Luckily, the local residents launched a fundraiser to help restore the incline, and it was such a huge success. The following year, the incline reopened operating as a non-profit organization dedicated to its preservation, which is why it's still here today for you and I to enjoy. Since the 60s, the incline has been totally refurbished, and the incline is now one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. In 1975, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This incline also became a historical mechanical engineering landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. This is not the fastest mode of transportation. However, it is the most fascinating to me but as slow as this car goes, before you know it, you are reaching the top station. You feel the car begin to slow down and do its docking sequence with the station. Interestingly enough, off to the side here, look at these, I guess these are townhomes or condos. How cool would it be to live right next to this thing and watch these cars going up and down the hill all day? I'm a little bit jealous. Anyway, as the car begins to stop, people will be leaving. The doors will soon open and all of us passengers will soon depart. When you step out of the car, be sure to look down and see the depths below. Once you enter the top station, you find yourself inside of 
a little museum with photographs and newspaper articles and historic objects. It was really fascinating to look through all of this and learn the history. And of course, there is a souvenir shop, so if you need a postcard or a pencil or a dish, you're set. Anyway, making your way outside, here is the fabulous observation deck. You get one of the best views of downtown Pittsburgh and the rivers meeting and all of the bridges and the skyline and the buildings and the Wow, it's just, it's incredible. And once you've got your fill of the view, you can make your way back down. Which brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little trip through history on one of America's most historic inclines, one of the few that still exist. Thank you for joining me today. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Thanks for watching.